Well, it's it's not really rocket science. I mean, you know, when you're a public company, you're trying to make a living. It's really nice to have all of this R and D and and capability. But if you can't <clears throat> if you can't uh, get customers to use it, obviously we're not going to grow. We're not going to make any money. Uh, we do have four laboratories in our company. Uh, we have an IP lab that's been around for 10, 11, 12 years since we started the internet business, which we think uh, has really helped us to develop really good efficient use of satellite with IP. And uh, we have a lot of good intellectual property there. And <clears throat> we've adopted that to a lot of our systems that we provided. We have a good video lab where we've uh, done a lot of testing of different video products, MPEG-2, MPEG-4. We're now setting up to go with 3D. We did high def. We're trying to be in, get into the forefront of three three D television. Uh, main thing is you got to sort of marry customers to the technology that we have. But uh, we do, I think, have the technology to to develop and deliver really good products and systems. And the the idea is is to really get that in front of our customers. And I think that's one area that we're really working very hard on. We've organized a little different in sales and marketing, get the message out of the kind of things that we do. Um, so we have also, we're developing a new terrestrial based video system and we hope to roll that out relatively soon because we think one of the things we've identified as, as late as, you know, as, as long ago as 10 years ago is that the internet's going to be the method of delivering a lot of a lot of streaming, a lot of video services, and just about every other kind of service. So, you're going to have to be on a in the forefront of being able to develop that kind of services and put it terrestrial. So, here we are. We're working on a terrestrial internet, which you know systems from running pure satellite Earth stations, and so we've come that whole way. And uh, so, we usually try to have a some component of satellite in what we do, but. Uh, we have to be on top of our game with the technology. I think we're, one advantage of a small company is that you can move a lot quicker sometimes than a bigger company. And the other side of the coin is though you don't have the resources of a big company, so you've got to do a lot smarter. And you have to invest in those things that are really going to have a payback. One thing that we do that it may be a little different than other companies, we do a lot of R&D on jobs. In other words, uh, when we get a project, and we have to develop something new, that goes into right into our cost of sales on the project. So that does two things. One is it sort of uh, validates the fact that somebody actually needs what we're doing. And two, it provides a schedule and a budget that has to be met along with the R&D. So if you take a look, look at our P&L, you'll see relatively small percentage R&D. That's somewhat misleading because we do an awful lot of R&D on projects that um, go into the actual cost of sales of the job. So <clears throat> that's another way, I think, of making sure that when you develop this technology, it's being used and it's being developed efficiently.